The Asus Tough series of gaming laptops have come a long way since the first set of these laptops came to the market. The company has also been updating these machines steadily over time to offer more value for money and some of these laptops are now powerful enough to compete with many pricier ROG models. Hey guys, this is Karthik here for Digit.in and today we're going to be checking out the Asus Tough Gaming F15 laptop. But this one's actually a power pack unit that comes with an Intel Core i9 Edge 45 processor, one of the newer 11th generation one, and there's also an RTX 3060 GPU. Well, we're going to be talking about this laptop in detail today, but before you do that, please make sure to hit the subscribe button and also press the bell icon so that you don't miss out on any of these awesome videos. Now that's out of the way, let's get started. Yeah. Starting off with the specs, the Asus Tough Gaming F15 is one of the first laptops to bring Intel's new H45 CPUs to the mainstream market. The variant that I reviewed is fitted with an Intel Core i9 11900H CPU with 8 cores and 16 threads. Additionally, you also have an NVIDIA GeForce RTX 3060 GPU on this laptop, configured with 90W TGP and an additional 5W with dynamic boost. You also get 16GB of DDR4 RAM running at 3200MHz and 1TB of M.2 NVMe PCIe 3.0 SSD. On the front, there's also a 15.6 inch display with support for up to 144Hz refresh rate and there's also a variant with up to 240Hz refresh rate. Now let's take a look at how all these specifications come together for performance. The Intel Core i9-11900H is an excellent CPU and it's comparable to the competing Ryzen 9 5900HX in terms of single core performance. This particular CPU is based on the Tiger Lake generation and it integrates 8 Willow Cove cores and 16 threads thanks to hyperthreading. The base clock at 45W TDP is set to 2.5GHz and it has a single core boost of up to 4.9GHz with all cores reaching a maximum of 4.5GHz at the same time. Starting off with some benchmarks numbers, the Asus Tough Gaming F15 laptop scores 7089 in PCMark 10's office test which is higher than what the MSI Pulse GL66 gaming laptop powered by an Intel Core i7-11700H had scored. In fact, this particular score is even higher than what we got on the ASUS Strix 15 SCAR edition laptop that's powered by the Ryzen 9 5900HX. Moving on to the Cinebench R23 score, the Tough Gaming F15 laptop scored 1573 in single core and 11563 in the multi-core test. The multi-thread performance here ended up falling short when compared with the Ryzen 9 5900HX on the Strix 15 SCAR edition gaming laptop. Intel's chip outperforms the same on the single core test though. So while running the Cinebench R23 test, I noticed that the processor was able to use all the cores properly without leaving any room for error. That's always good to see. At the beginning of the test runs, the TDP soars above 100 watts briefly before settling down at about 80 watts on turbo. The core clock speeds remain constant throughout the run, hovering between 3.5 to 4 GHz. I'm happy to report that I did not notice any major clock speed fluctuations, even when the temperatures were close to hitting the CPU TJ Max limit. Well, we'll talk about this in thermal sections later, but I'd like to say that the performance was on par with my expectations and it remained stable throughout the testing process. Moving to the GPU benchmarks, the Tough Gaming F15 managed to score pretty good numbers on the suite of 3 Mark tests that we ran. The 3 Mark scores for this particular laptop should be on your screen now. So the 3 Mark numbers given by this particular GPU were actually better than the one that I managed to get on the MSI Pulse GL66 gaming laptop with the same GPU. Well, that's because the RTX 3060 GPU on that laptop only had a TGP of 85 watts. Well, we've said this before, the TGP value actually makes a lot of difference and that's exactly why even the ROG Zephyrus G15 managed to outperform the Tough F15 in this case because the RTX 3060 GPU on that laptop had a TGP value of 100 watts. I also played a lot of games to test the gaming capabilities of the Tough F15 extensively and here are the results for that. Pretty much all titles that I ended up testing were able to run smoothly at 1080p resolution. The RTX 3060 GPU on this laptop has 6 gigs of GDDR6 VRAM and as I mentioned it, it is configured with a 95W TGP with dynamic boost support. When it comes to ray tracing, the RTX 3060 GPU here puts up respectable frame rates on the board as well. Titles like Metro Exodus Enhanced Edition and Control with heavy ray tracing elements were playable at good frame rates. If you're planning to use the ASUS Tough Gaming F15 laptop for your creative workloads like photo, video editing, animation work, etc., then you should not have any major issues. The Intel Core i9-11900H managed to put up a pretty good show here and even the RTX 3060 was able to keep up with most of our testing. I started with some Blender tests to test this GPU's rendering capabilities. The scores for that should be on your screens now. In Adobe Lightroom Classic, the laptop took 1 minute and 35 seconds to export a batch of 50 RAW files. 
It ended up exporting 100 raw files in 3 minutes and 7 seconds and 200 raw files in just little over 6 minutes. These export times were on par with the Intel Core i7 11700H powered MSI Pulse GL66 laptop. I also used DaVinci Resolve 15 software to render 5 minute 1080p video and the Tough 15 was able to do that in under 50 seconds which is quite commendable. Overall, I'd say the Tough Gaming F15 laptop can handle most of the creative workloads without any major issues. Gaming performance was also fantastic and I think the RTX 3060 GPU is being put to good use here. Running games at native resolution should be a breeze and some of the esports titles like Valorant should be able to pump out 144 FPS without much of an issue. Before talking about the thermals, I want to talk a little bit about the storage. So the Asus Tough Gaming F15 comes with 1TB M.2 NVMe PCIe 3.0 SSD. Crystal Dismark gave me a maximum read speed of 3552 Mbps and a 3054 Mbps speed for writes. This is more in line with what you'd expect from a PCIe Gen 3.0 drive out of the box. I really hope to see some PCIe 4.0 based drives soon but I think those will be reserved for more expensive laptops at least for now. So I've always had a pretty good experience when it comes to the thermals of the Tough series gaming laptop and the Tough Gaming F15 laptop in this case is no different. Yes, the laptop runs a little hot but the performance was mostly unaffected due to the thermals. While running the Cinebench R23's multi-core test, the CPU hit a max temperature of around 95 degrees Celsius which is still below the TJ Max limit of 100 degrees. The CPU was mostly sitting at around 80 degrees to 85 degrees Celsius during the stress test which means it should be able to handle normal day-to-day -day workloads very easily. The CPU did throttle due to temperature but luckily there weren't any major fluctuations in the clock speed itself. Moving on to the GPU, the RTX 3060 was running optimally in this chassis. Even while playing games with ultra ray tracing settings, the GPU only crossed the 80 degree mark which is not bad. In theory, the GPU should be able to handle most of the workloads very well without running at extreme temperatures and throttling. The laptop takes fresh air from the vents on the top and pumps out hot air from the vents located at the back and on the right side. The bottom of the laptop also has honeycomb pattern vents from which the heat is dissipated as well. I'd like to point out that the fan speed was set to turbo throughout the testing period so I highly recommend using that before putting any kind of load on the laptop's internals. The Asus Tough Gaming F15 has a 15.6 inch IPS panel with a resolution of 1920x1080. The laptop I tested comes with a 144Hz refresh rate support but Asus is also selling a superior version that supports up to 240Hz refresh rate. According to Asus website, the panel with the 240Hz refresh rate is also more color accurate than the one that was shipped to us. Sadly, I wasn't able to run a usual set of display tests on this laptop but the overall panel quality seemed pretty decent to me. It's obviously not the most color accurate panel out there since it only covers about 63% of the sRGB and about 48% Adobe RGB color space so you might want to invest in an external monitor for color sensitive work. The display gets bright enough to be used under direct sunlight but I had some issues with viewing angles outdoor. The matte finish eliminates the reflections outdoors, yes, but the screen visibility was poor from oblique viewing angles. Overall, I'd say this is a pretty good panel for gaming as well as media consumption but don't expect anything out of the ordinary. If you can spend a little bit extra, then I'd say it'd be worth splurging on the 240Hz panel that comes with better color reproduction. The Asus Tough Gaming F15 has a full-sized RGB backlit keyboard with a good amount of space between each key. It's a chiclet style keyboard here in this case so you know exactly what to expect. It has good key travel and there's a decent amount of feedback from them as well but they're mostly spongy. That being said, I do like the more plasticky feeling keys here on this laptop compared to the more rubberized one on the Zenbook series. The arrow keys are quite small though so you might want to keep that in mind. I would also like to point out that the lighting solution on the keyboard is limited to a single zone RGB and there's no per key option available. Well, those premium features are still reserved for the pricier ROG lineup. Moving on to the trackpad, the Tough Gaming F15 remains one of the few gaming laptops to have dedicated mouse buttons for more accurate clicks. I have no complaints about the trackpad either besides the fact that it's a textureless trackpad that builds up fingerprints very quickly. The tracking itself was fairly reliable and I was also able to use all the gestures properly thanks to Windows Precision drivers. When it comes to the port selection, it's very similar to the ones that you get on the Tough Dash F15 laptop but they have been rearranged a little bit here. On, on the right side, you get only one USB Type-A 3.2 Gen 1 port. Moving on to the left side, there's a USB Type-C port with Thunderbolt 4 and DisplayPort support, two USB Type-A 3.2 Gen 1 port, an SDMI 2.0 port, an RJ45 connector and a 3.5mm combo jack along with the AC adapter. The 
tough gaming laptops have always had a distinct look to them and the tough gaming F15 carries over the same aesthetics. It's got a striking design and I'm sure anybody who has seen a tough gaming laptop before would identify it pretty easily. The laptop is available in two colors but they both are darker shades and their design screams gaming from every angle so just keep that in mind. Despite being plastic, the chassis offers quite good structure integrity. Asus says this machine is compliant with a plethora of rigidity tests. After using this laptop extensively, I have to admit that it is indeed built to last. If you are someone who is not very good with handling expensive machines, then this seems like the one that can keep up. This also has a webcam on top of the display which is becoming more of a luxury in premium notebooks with slim bezels. I'd also like to talk about the speakers here in this section. You get two 2 watt bottom firing speakers on the Tough Gaming F15 laptop and they're not the best out there. They don't get loud enough to fill even a small room and audio quality was okayish at best with decent bass reproduction. One thing I don't like about the speakers is that the palm rest will vibrate to touch when you turn the speakers all the way up. This is because they're located directly underneath them and there's nothing we can do about to avoid it. Overall, there really isn't much to talk about the design of this gaming laptop. You're either going to love it or you'll absolutely despise it depending on what you like. I personally love flashy laptops with striking designs, textures and RGB lighting, so I'd say this one fits the boat for me. The Asus Tough Gaming F15 laptop is packed with a 90 watt hour battery and I'd like to say surprisingly that the battery life is actually one of the strong points of this laptop, which is usually not the case when it comes to gaming laptops. I mean, you'll still have to connect the charger while gaming to get the best performance out of this machine, but the battery life is otherwise great. Using it as my primary machine for day-to-day -day workloads was very enjoyable, mainly due to the fact that I didn't have to worry about charging it. In PC Mark 10's modern office battery test, the Tough Gaming F15 was able to last for almost 7 hours, which is just fantastic. Obviously, your usage will vary depending on what you end up doing on this laptop, but I can confidently say that this is one of those long-lasting machines that won't require you to hug a charging point. The Asus Tough Gaming F15 starts at Rs 1,13,000 and a fully decked out machine with an Intel Core i9-11900H and a 240Hz display will set you back as much as Rs 1,75,000. Intel's new H45 Core i9-11900H is the showstopper here in this case. It's an excellent CPU with pretty good gains over the previous generation CPUs and is on par with the AMD Ryzen 9 5900HX fitted on the Asus Strix Flower Edition. The Asus Tough Gaming F15 also has some other things going for it in addition to that CPU like a solid build quality, striking design, a long lasting battery and a good display. The only thing I wish Asus would have done here was to throw in a better GPU like the RTX 3070 instead of the RTX 3060 at least on the variant with an i9-11900H. Don't get me wrong, it's not a bottleneck that you need to worry about, but the RTX 3070 would have made it a solid recommendation, even though a bit expensive. The Asus Tough Gaming F15, all things considered, is still a great gaming laptop that leaves very little room to complain about. If you're thinking of buying it though, I suggest you check out the variant that comes with an Intel Core i7-11800H and the RTX 3050 GPU. MSI's Pulse GL66 is also a very good alternative to this machine for a cheaper price and so is Asus' own ROG Zephyrus G15 that's powered by the Ryzen 9 5900HS. Well, both of these alternatives have their own set of cons, so be sure to check out those reviews as well before buying. Well, that's gonna do it for me in this video. I hope you enjoyed this one. I will see you guys very, very soon with another laptop review. Until then, stay safe and thanks for watching.